guys, it's day number 91 of my 365 day Jimmy Ice Bath Challenge. If you've been following me all year, then you already know what I've been doing all year here in the year 2022. But I got to tell you guys, I have turned over a new leaf. I now realize something that I did not realize before. It's so revelatory. I cannot wait to share it with you. I just can't believe I didn't think about this before. So coming in, guys, make yourselves at home. I've got big news to share with you today, really big news. And I hope you stick around to hear the news because it's about to come here in just a minute. But come on in, guys. Day number 91 of my 365 Jimmy Ice Bath Challenge. And I got to tell you, I've been doing it all wrong all year. You know, I have been getting into an ice bath. Look at these big old blocks of ice. And so, ice baths are bullshit. Sorry, you don't need to be doing them. They're horrible for you. I don't know why anybody would purposely put their body into ice. Like, come on, what is the point? What are we doing here, people? Why would we do this? I mean, it's just so absurd to think that anybody would purposely make themselves cold. What? Like, no, that doesn't make sense. Why would you do that? I think this is nonsense. It's just horrible. I've been showing you all year long getting into an ice bath. And to what end? What has been the purpose? What do we have? We got big, big, big chunks of ice. I don't get it anymore. So I'm out. April Fools. <laughs> Sharon got me. Yes, yes. How could I let April 1st come and go and not dump, do some weird something like that? You know what I almost did for April's Fool's Day, you guys? So you see it's like a big vat full of ice. I almost went and bought like a case of beer and I was going to put cans of beer into the ice and not say anything about the cans of beer being there and, and do my ice bath like I always do. But then the cans of beer would be floating everywhere. But then I'm like, I don't even like beer. So I would have to like buy, was it $25, $30 worth of beer <laughs> that then I wouldn't drink. So it wasn't worth that. I thought I could just punk you at the beginning. So those of you that came in late, you missed all the fun. I did an April Fool's joke. But I do have a very important question today here in day 91. What are your objections? What has you still hung up on getting into an ice bath on on doing cold therapy of any sort, it doesn't have to be an ice bath, but it could be just getting into a cold shower. What are your objections? So when I'm going to get in the water. I'm going to talk about what I think, what I think some of the major ones are that I've heard the pushback on in the first 91 days. But then I want to hear your objections. And look, there's no wrong answer. If you object, you've got your reason. So let's hear it. I want to, I want to hear from you. All right. So let's angle you down so you can see all the action in the ice. Five minutes on the clock, and here we go. Woo. There was a big chunk that went right up my asshole. <laughs> Yikes. so quiet today. I got no chickens clucking. I got no birds chirping. I got no dogs barking. I got no machines over in the construction area moving. It's very quiet today. Okay, you guys. So I'm asking the question today, what 
are your objections to getting into an ice bath and doing cold therapy? And if I had to narrow down what the major objections are that I've heard so far, the big one is, well, that just looks too hard. I don't think I can do it. And so that's fear-based. That's based on what you think is gonna be like. Um, and it's based on maybe you tried it once, maybe twice, and you didn't really train yourself to work your way to get to the point where you can tolerate it. And anybody that is at that point where it's just too hard, I don't think I can do it, look, you start slow. And I've talked about that from the very beginning. I'm, I'm about to start a brand new book called Cold Therapy Clarity. And one of the things I'm gonna do in there is teach you how to get started. And I mean, it's like not even that uncomfortable when you first start. Get in a warm shower. So after you take a hot shower, just turn it down to warm and start from there and work your way down. I'll, I'll come up with a plan of action of what you can do over a period of time. Uh, you check in with yourself to see if you've acclimated, blah, blah, blah. But that's a big obje objection. That just seems too hard. I don't know how I can do that. It's just, no. Uh, another one is, well, I don't get it. I don't get the benefits. I don't see what is that supposed to be doing. Now, if you've been following my ice bath videos all year long, then you know I've been articulating a lot of the health benefits from it, primarily the brown fat uh, increasing, which is good for metabolism, lowering of inflammation. I went to see my tax guy today and I told him about the ice bath because I wrote off this ice bath on my taxes. I'm like, I go on video every day in the ice bath. Doesn't that count as a business expense? He's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. So I got to write off my Morosco Forge on my taxes. Um, and I was telling him about it and he's like, wow, that sounds really interesting. He's, he's had some health problems. I say, you know, some of those chronic issues you've been dealing with, they're all related to inflammation. And so you're gonna lower your inflammation. He's like, oh, wow, that's cool. I said, yeah, it's literally cool. Um, lots of health benefits. I've been talking about them all year. The mental health benefits, the sleep benefits, all that. These are two of the biggest objections that I've heard so far. There are many more, but I wanna hear what you have to say. What have you yourself in your own mind said was a big objection, why you would never do this or why this is hard for you to wrap your head around? Or what are those things that you hear other people talk about? Because I'm gonna address these in my book. I'm gonna have a whole section where I just ask all those questions that people have and what their objections are and then uh, respond to them. All right, I'm going to go into the water now. I do like dunking my head and scaring my neighbors, apparently. <laughs> yes, yes. So be thinking and go ahead and write your comments down there. What are the objections? Either ones that you yourself have to doing cold therapy or that you've heard from other people. This will be very educational for me. I would like to hear from real people what their objections are. And as always, I'm going to be going on a walk, so I'm going to stick on a shirt I wear my Cowboys jersey because it's easy to get over my wet skin since I'm still dripping wet from the ice bath. Ah. Yeah, and then I'll throw on my Crocs and we're gonna go for a walk. I was mowing my grass earlier and uh, I didn't quite get it all the way done because I was running out of time. And plus I have rechargeable batteries, lithium batteries, and they're just now getting recharged. And so when I'm done with you guys, I get to finish. I mean, it's not that much left, but it's very well, very well manicured. I take care of my yard. 
very beautifully mown. Yes, yes. All right, let me get off the Wi-Fi real quick. Okay, we are back off the Wi-Fi so I can walk down the street and not worry about losing you. So if you came in late, this is day number 91 of my 365-day Jimmy Ice Bath Challenge. Uh, and I am asking the question, what are your objections to doing cold therapy, ice baths, cold showers, anything that would, would expose you to cold temperatures? What are the objections? Either your personal obje objections or what are you hearing from people when you see people talking about cold therapy? What is it that's their pushback? Everybody has a pushback. And look, I get it. Cold, cold showers, cold uh, therapy, uh, ice baths is not comfortable. It's not something that you willingly, at least when you first start, want to do. I will tell you, I'll skip ahead to the good part as the TikTok viral sound says. Um, eventually you do want to do it. Eventually you will get that, that itch to want to get in, get cold. I know I do. All right, let me scroll back to the top, see who else here, and then I'll engage with the objections. So keep them coming. If you've got objections that either you have or that you've heard from people, I want to address them. And plus, I want to see what is on the hearts and minds of people as I am writing a book about this topic right now. <clears throat> Lou Jean is here. Sharon, the Coof, Laura, Dr. McManany. I know I slaughtered your name. Sorry about that. Linda's here. Losing and cruising. Gwen, 128. Elaine, Texas Livingston. Kira, Karen, Zoe, Gabby, Digoose, uh, Jay Price, Dawn. Gabby is laughing at my April Fool's joke. If you missed the very beginning, go back and watch the replay. I played an April Fool's joke. How could I not? It's April 1st. Duh. Uh, Lori is here. C. Millsy. Another Lori Lynn is here. Michael. Julius Grace. Carol Lee. Melissa. Kira says, I'm not afraid of cold. I'm more concerned about hair damage. I have a lot of hair. You do have a lot of hair, my dear. Uh, the other pain is my Raynaud's that is triggered when my hands and feet are touching snow or ice. That's interesting about the Raynaud's. I was just... Uh, listening to a podcast today that was posted on Morozco Forge's website um, about a lady who has Raynaud's disease and she's using cold therapy to help with her Raynaud's. So, I mean, I get it. I definitely don't want that condition and cannot imagine the pain you live with and deal with, but I just wonder... If there's a way you could incorporate it somehow, some way, slowly. I don't know, Kira, but um, reach out to me personally in the DM uh, and I'll send you the link to that if you want to listen. Lisa is here. Lugene says, my morkel is barking at your beeper on your timer. Yes. When I'm under the water, sometimes the, uh, the beeping continues. Because I stay, I think t today I stayed under the water a long time. I think it was like 18 seconds I was under the water. One of these days that I do this challenge, I want to try to go a full minute underneath the water. I want to dunk my head. I can hold my breath that long. It's no big deal. But I want to dunk my head for a minute because I can tell you just the 15, 20 seconds ish that I typically do. I come up and I'm so invigorated and I can tell you when I'm in the ice bath and I'm doing the breathing and I'm talking to you guys, I'm feeling such heat emanating off the top of my head. It almost makes me want to dunk my head. And so I'm dying for that last 20 seconds when it ticks down the clock and I'm like, okay, I'm going to go under. I'm dying to get to that point because I'm so hot coming out of my head pretty amazing actually marina is here marcy bulletproof coconut says go jimmy and yes i'm walking i will have a walk and talk by the way those of you that are fans of my walk and talk i don't have a topic yet but sunday 11 a.m eastern time 
we will commiserate on my walking trail just over there is where the walking trail is. And uh, we'll, we'll gather back together here on Instagram Live. Uh, Laura says, I think cold therapy would be different for women and men. Probably, although I don't know if it's along gender lines um, that we would say who it's for. I think it's, I think there's a lot of application for specific men and for specific women. And there's a lot of specific men and women who do not need to be doing it. So I don't necessarily know that it would be along gender lines. Tell me more, Laura, about what your theory is about why it would be different for, for the sexes. Also cold therapy for those with trauma, somatic experience. Yes. Look, I, I am someone who went through trauma. I think it depends on the trauma, too. Um, and there's any numbers of things that could trigger trauma. Although all the things that I'm reading and researching right now about cold therapy, trauma, stress, uh, mental health issues, all of those things seem to be helped with cold therapy. And I have to tell you guys, when I went to see my tax guy today, I was in there, I was in a great mood. And I guess a lot of people come into the tax office and they're not really happy, and they're not really in a great mood. And I went in, hey, what's up, Ch-? you know, how you doing? Da, da, da. And he's like, wow, you're really happy. You're really in a good mood. And I was telling him, because he was asking what I was up to in my business. I was like, dude, I'm doing these 32 degree temperature ice baths every single day for five minutes. He's like, what? <laughs> so <laughs> I explained a little bit of it. He's like, well, whatever it is, it's got you happy right now. I say, yeah, life is good. Life is really good. Uh, these aren't really objections, just more topics to be addressed. Thank you for that, Laura. And uh, trust me, we're going to try to make cold therapy clarity as totality of uh, the subject as possible. Obviously, you can't make it in Encyclopedia Britannica of everything. But if you've read my books, Keto Clarity and Cholesterol Clarity, I will give it the full, the full Monty coverage as I can, at least as an introduction for people interested in learning more about it. Sharon says, as the hot summers hit Austin, it'll be great to get in the cold showers. Yes. And look, I'm looking forward to it getting hotter. Um, Cause I'm almost thinking when it gets hotter, it will make it easier, especially if you're hot, you know, physically on the outside. Like when I mow the grass in the summer and it's 90 something degrees outside, I'm overheated. I'm like way overheated. And so when I take a shower after mowing and I'm dripping sweat and all this stuff, I go straight down to the cold, like all the way in the cold. I think what I would do now, Sharon, is I would rinse off in the shower to get all the grass and everything off of me and the sweat off of me. But then I'd go pop in the Morosco Forge for as long as it took to cool me down. And if I'm that overheated, it might take a little bit. I bet I could easily do 10 minutes on a day like that. Trust me, if there's a day that I get really hot from mowing, I will show you guys on camera. I might go 15 minutes in the forge. So, <laughs> But I think during the summer, I might even be able to do a couple five-minute sessions a day. We'll see. Uh, Bulletproof says a, um, a minute under sounds harsh on the head. Yeah, um, when I first started dunking my head under the water, I would get that brain freeze. <clears throat> and what's interesting to me, I have a, my friend Kelly who came to visit me about six or eight weeks ago when my birthday party was. And she got in the forge. Um, and so she knows about cold therapy and everything. Today, she posted on her stories on Instagram that she put her head under just cold water in the shower. And she got the brain freeze. Just with cold water in the shower. <laughs> like, whoa. But yeah, um, I used to get the brain freeze going under for like 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, some reason that's gone away. Something 
about maybe getting acclimated. I don't know, but I was under there about 18 seconds today, but that'll be interesting. Can I make it a minute? Maybe what I do is when I do that challenge, I shoot for 30 seconds first. And if I do that pretty well, then maybe before the end of the video, I'll do this soon, by the way, before the end of the video, I'll go back under and see if I can stay in a minute. Worth the shot. You guys know I'm all about N equals one with this thing. You don't know until you try something. Uh, Trody is here. R.S. Marlum. Tons of Kid Fun is here. Patricia. Lara. Carrie. Root Story. Jared. Deborah. Thank you all for being here today. Appreciate you hanging out with me here. Here on day number 91 of my 365 day Jimmy Ice Bath Challenge. I'm asking the question, what are the objections to the ice baths? What are the objections? What are the things that either you yourself have as far as things that would make you not want to do this? Or what have you heard? What have you heard from other people that they say, yeah, this is why I won't do that? And a lot of the reasons that I've heard circle around just, it's just fear-based based on expectation. It's too cold, it hurts. Uh, any excuse, one guy brought up the excuse of, well, my health is good, so why, why do I need to do that? And I'm thinking, I don't care how good your health is, it can always be enhanced more. And wouldn't you wanna to try to optimize it more? Now, if you're happy with where you are and you don't need ice baths, great. I don't know many people like that. Most people that I run into, they have specific issues in their health that they wish were better. So why not try an ice bath to fix that? So, All right, you guys got quiet on me. So if you don't have any other objections that you've heard about ice baths and about cold therapy, I think I'm going to pop off of here. But uh, thanks for hanging out. Always appreciate you engaging in the content here. I uh, am looking forward to a restful weekend. Going to the farmer's market in the morning. They're finally reopening for the spring season. They close during the winter months, but they reopen the first week of May. So today is April 1st, so first week of May. Um, and then, yeah, I, I use Saturdays to kind of relax a bit catch up on a little bit of work now that I'm past the tax guy, which by the way, I went to see the tax guy. That was the best like tax experience I've had in a, in a very long time. Like he said, wow, you've got all your paperwork together. We were in and out of there in two hours. I've been at his office as long as six hours sometimes. So if you haven't filed your taxes yet, get it done. You'll be glad that you did, but yes, yes, yes. All right. Let me pop off of here for now. You guys, thank you so much as always for engaging in the content. If you're watching this on the replay on YouTube, watching it on Facebook, or even here on Instagram, go follow me living low carb man, L I V I N L O W C A R B M A N. We'd love to have you engage in the content live. We go live at 5 PM every single day, but go follow me on Instagram. I picked up like 400 new followers this week. I just noticed that the last couple of days that my following went way up. I think it had to do with interviewing Courtney Hunt. I had her on the other day and a lot of her fans came to watch me and uh, liked my content. So, uh, so thank you, Courtney, for that. <laughs> but uh, that was cool. I loved it. All right, guys, let me get out of here for now. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.